Which of the following arrhythmias would be indicated by typical sawtooth P-wave activity on the ECG monitor using the Ilker PALS provider manual? A. Atrial fibrillation B. Sinus tachycardia C. Superventricular tachycardia D. Atrial flutter When a youngster has ventricular tachycardia, poor perfusion, and indications of shock, what is the most crucial course of action? A. Perform vagal maneuvers. B. Administer amiodaron. C. Perform synchronized cardioversion. D. Administer adenosine. Tachyarrhythmias can result in a substantial reduction in cardiac perfusion. What cardiovascular component's shorter duration is the cause of these perfusion changes? Systole. Atrioventricular valve conduction. Atrioventricular valve closure. Diastole. What is the typical duration of the QRS in pediatric patients? A. Less than or equal to 0.09 seconds. B. Less than or equal to 0.15 seconds. C. Less than or equal to 0.9 seconds. D. Less than or equal to 0.03 seconds. Which drug is suggested as a first line of treatment for supraventricular tachycardia? Adenosine, epinephrine, atropine, procainamide. In order to simulate a right tension pneumothorax, where should the needle go? Fourth intercostal space right of the mediastinum. First intercostal space right of the mediastinum. Second intercostal space right of the mediastinum. Fourth intercostal space left of the mediastinum. Which of these imbalances in electrolytes wouldn't cause ventricular tachycardia? Hypomagnesemia. Hypocalcemia. Hyperkalemia. Hyponatremia When a narrow QRS complex is present in both stable and unstable sinus tachycardia situations, what is the most crucial intervention? Obtain a 12-lead ECG. Identify and treat the underlying cause. Monitor blood pressure and pulse oximetry. Provide oxygen therapy. Which arrhythmias below have a QRS complex lasting longer than 0.09 seconds? A. Superventricular tachycardia with aberrant intraventricular conduction. B. Atrial flutter. C. Superventricular tachycardia. D. Sinus tachycardia. If untreated tachyarrhythmias go untreated for an extended length of time, they may eventually result in congestive heart failure. Of the following, which one would not be a marker of CHF in infancy? Poor feeding. Sunken fontanelle. Rapid breathing. Irritability. Which tachyarrhythmia is most likely to impair a baby's cardiovascular health during infancy? Sinus tachycardia. Paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Supraventricular tachycardia. Ventricular tachycardia. Which of the following does not usually result in a youngster experiencing a sudden cardiac arrest? A. Myocarditis. B. 
Drug intoxication. C. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. D. Long QD syndrome. After a child has advanced to a situation where cardiac arrest has been diagnosed, which intervention should be given priority? Chest compressions. Early defibrillation. Identifying the rhythm. Identify and treat reversible causes of the arrest. Which of the following HS and TS should always be taken into account in pediatric crises where cardiac arrest or altered mental status is recorded, per the Ilker ACLS Provider Manual? Hydrogen ion. Tension pneumothorax. Toxins. Hypoglycemia. How many seconds should be the maximum duration for pulse checks on children? 10 seconds. 20 seconds. 5 seconds. 15 seconds. Which presentation rhythm is most frequently seen in kids going into cardiac arrest? A. Pulseless ventricular tachycardia. B. Ventricular fibrillation. C. Third degree AV block. D. PAA systole. What comes next in the treatment plan for a patient who has a chest needle inserted for attention pneumothorax? Thoracic duct. Chest tube. Aspirin. Endotracheal tube. At what depth are chest compressions for infants and children appropriate? A. At least one half of the anterior posterior diameter of the chest. B. At least one fifth of the anterior posterior diameter of the chest. C. At least one fourth of the anterior posterior diameter of the chest. D. At least one third of the anterior posterior diameter of the chest. What comes next in the treatment plan for a patient who has a chest needle inserted for attention pneumothorax? Thoracic duct. Chest tube. Aspirin. Endotracheal tube. What condition usually results in pediatric cardiac arrest, secondary to shock or respiratory failure? A. Tissue hypoxia. B. Coronary occlusion. C. Hypovolemia. D. Pulmonary embolism. Pediatric Advanced Life Support Training Guide. Welcome to our comprehensive guide to pediatric advanced life support training. In this section, we will provide you with essential information on PAL certification, guidelines, and training strategies for effective pediatric resuscitation and emergency care. When it comes to pediatric resuscitation and emergency care, having the right knowledge and skills is crucial. PAL certification ensures that healthcare providers are equipped to handle critical situations involving pediatric patients. By following PAL's guidelines, professionals can confidently navigate the complexities of pediatric emergency care, minimizing risks and maximizing positive outcomes.